praise the name of the Lord. Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson. And I do read the Word of God, beloved, seven minutes every day so you don't have to read. Let me turn that air filter off. Hold on. Okay, that's much better, much better. All right, today is, um, today's read is for Thursday, November the 12th, 2020, December the 31st. We'll be reading the 23rd uh, verses of chapter 31, and we'll be reading from the King James Version of the Word of God. Get my timer set here. And it reads, And God gave Joshua, the son of Nun, a charge and said, Be strong and of a good courage, for thou shalt bring the children of Israel into the land which I swear unto them, and I will be with thee. And it came to pass when Moses had made an end of writing the words of this law in a book until they were finished, that Moses commanded the Levites, which bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord, saying, Take this book of the law and put it in the side of the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God, that it may be there for a witness against him, against thee. For I know thy rebellion and thy stiff neck. Behold, while I am yet alive with you this day, ye've been rebellious against the Lord, and how much more after my death. Gather unto me all the elders of the tribes and your official officers, that I may speak these words in their ears and call heaven and earth to record them. For I know that after my death, ye will utterly corrupt yourselves and turn aside from the way which I have commanded you. And, and evil will befall you in the latter days because ye will do evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger through the work of your hands. And Moses spake in the ears of all the congregation of Israel the words of this song until they were ended. Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. My doctrine shall drop as the rain, my speech shall distill as the dew, as the small rain upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass. Because I will publish the name of the Lord, ascribe ye greatness unto our God. He is the rock, his work is perfect, for all his ways are judgment. A God of truth and without iniquity, just and right is he. They have corrupted themselves. Their spot is not the spot of his children. They are perverse and crooked generation. Do ye thus requite the Lord, O foolish people, and unwise? Is not he thy father that hath brought thee? Hath he not made thee and established thee? Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father, and he will shew thee thy elders, and they will tell thee. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bonds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. He found him in a desert van and in the waste howling wilderness. He led him about. He instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. As an eagle stirreth up her nest, fluttereth over her young, spreadeth abroad her wings, taketh them, beareth them on her wings. So the Lord alone did lead him. And there was no strange God with him. He made him ride on high places of the earth that he might eat the increase of the fields. And he made him to suck honey out of the rock and oil out of the flinty rock. Butter of kine and milk of sheep with fat of lambs and rams of the breed of Bashan. And goats with the fat of kidneys of wheat. wheat. And thou didst drink the pure blood of the grape. But Jeshuron waxed fat and kicked. Thou art waxen fat and thou art grown thick. Thou art covered with fatness. Then he forsook God, which made him and lightly esteemed the rock of his salvation. They provoked him to jealousy with strange gods, ab abominations. Provoked they him to anger. They sacrificed unto devils, not to God. To gods whom they knew not, to new gods that came not up, whom the fathers, whom your fathers feared not. Of the rock that begat Thee thou art un unmindful, and hast forgotten God that formed thee. And when the Lord saw it, he had whored them because of the provoking of his sons and of his daughters. And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be, for they are a very forward generation, children in whom is no faith. They moved me to jealousy with that which is not God. They provoked me to anger 
with their vanities, and I will move them to jealousy. With those which are not a people, I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. For a fire is kindled in mine anger, and shall burn unto the lowest hell, and shall consume the earth with her increase, and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. I will heap mischief upon them, I will spend mine arrows upon them. They shall be burned with hunger, and devoured with burning heat, and with bitter destruction. I will also send the teeth of beasts upon them, with the poison of serpents of the dust. The sword without and the terror within shall destroy both the young man and the virgin, the suckling also with the man of gray hairs. I said I would scatter them into corners. I would make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. Were it not that I fear the wrath of the enemy, lest their adversaries should behave themselves strangely, and lest they should say, Our hand is high, and the Lord hath not done all this. For they are a nation void of counsel, neither is there any understanding in them. Oh, that they were wise, that they understood this, that they would consider their latter end. How should one chase a thousand, and two put ten thousand to flight, except their rock had sold them, and the Lord had shut them up? For their rock is not as our rock, even our enemies themselves being judges. For their vine is of the vine of Sodom, and of the fields of Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of gall, their clusters are bitter. Their wine is the poison of dragons and the cruel venom of asp. Is not this laid up in store with me and sealed up among my treasures? To me belongeth vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time. For the day of their calamity is at hand and the things that shall come upon them make haste. For the Lord will judge his people and repent himself for his servants when he seeth that their power is gone and there is none shut up or left. And he shall say, Where are their gods, their rock in whom they trusted, which did eat the fat of their sacrifices and drink the wine of their drink offerings? Let them rise up and help you and be your protection. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any any that can deliver out of my hand. For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. If I wit my glittering sword and mine hand take hold of judgment, I will render vengeance to mine enemies and will reward them that hate me. May the Lord add a blessing to you, the hearer and me, the reader of this precious and sacred word of God. You hear what the Lord say? He said, and he can reward them that hate him if he want to. Because see, God does do what he want to do. God is God. He's like a parent. You know, you ask your parents, Mom, why you do that? Because I said so. Mom, why you do that? Because I said so. Because I'm your mama. Don't worry about it. I'm the mom around here. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. I want to say thank you again for being a part of the Smurf Club for your continued donation to paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson, paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson, and or dollar sign Mama Pam 23. Dollar sign, Mama Pam 23. We are Smurf, SMR, Smurf Ministry, 7-Minute Read Family, 7-Minute Read Follow, just 7-Minute Read Faithful Folk. That's where we are. We broadcast across 16 social media platforms. We broadcast on Pacific Standard Time, and we broadcast at 7 p.m. every evening, whether it's live or not. These reads will be posted because the word is what you're coming here for, not me anyway. We broadcast on Smurf, on Facebook, Facebook, Smurf or Pamela Dobson. Also, you can find the reads on YouTube under Pamela Dobson. Know that Jesus loves you. Mama Pam loves you. There's nothing you can do about it. And if you don't want to give me any of your money, you ain't got to support me by going to one of these of seven different sites. Go to visit my website, www.7minutereed.com. And the seven is S-E-V number seven. That's how we spell all of our sevens. We take out the input in the seven. I love you. God bless.